In this video, watch me race a plane as it takes off. Can I keep up with my speed bar and a fast paraglider? I've invited a special guest over for this challenge and later a load of us have a sunset flight to celebrate Gary's birthday. We fly around a balloon, but there's a twist. I run out of fuel. Will I land out? Do I make it back in time for Gary's birthday barbecue? So a lot going on in this one, hope you enjoy. So now just waiting for the special guest and here he comes in for his landing. I've been watching this channel, it's called Short Field for quite a while and it also turns out that he's been watching my channel. So I said it's Gary's birthday, why don't you come over and see what paramotoring is all about and see if we can race each other along the airfield. Hiya, paparazzi are here. So Jeff is joining in all the fun as well and gets some excellent footage on his drone. So thanks, Jeff. Got some new glove liners. I'm going to try those. Quarter to five. It's been quite thermic. Oh, you know what? You're just in time. <laughs> as always. It's all about timing. So just go out for a quick 10 minute flight and show Terry what paramotoring is all about. Do some low flying over the airfield and go up to a thousand feet or so and then come back down. Have a bit of a natter about paramotors and then get ready to line up on the runway and have a little race down the runway. See, like, I see what you mean about like when you're when you so when you're going straight into the wind, it's fine. It's yeah. Probably when the wind's behind you, it's fine. But as you're turning around, that's where you can see your body will end up over here. I don't know if you're doing that. Like but, pendulum. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you look at the, closely at the wings, you can probably see them kind of yeah. twitching around. Yeah. So they are very very sensitive. <laughs> so if I go on speed bar, I might be able to do uh, wing tip touch with them. Took off from the east field and then flying onto the main airfield. So this is the west field, and we're going to line up at the bottom of the runway. So Terry's just doing his final checks. I think he might have been waiting for me actually, and uh, he's ready to go. So we're going to go and line up. I'm going to fly down to the bottom of the runway, hang around a bit, and then try and time it so we both go down the runway together. Golf, the main vacated. There's Mark. You don't want to see a paramotor that close, really, do you? So we are very close. So any of you that are concerned about the safety aspect, we have had a briefing and I will not cross the boundary of the runway. Little Grandstone traffic, Golf, for the Mid Juliet. Charlie 2, this full cruiser lining up. 1-0, Little Grandstone. Where is he? So here we go. I let my trimmers out to get some speed up. Bring back the power a little bit. So I've got my trimmers out uh, to get more speed. Um, I was thinking of putting my speed bar on, but I decided that I'm too close to the ground and there's some tall trees right here that will give rotor. So I don't want to be close to the ground with rotor, so I decided not to do that. Bluno, 
over there as well, look. There he is. See you, Terry. Good to see you, mate. We enjoyed you coming over and seeing all the drama that happens on the paramotor field. Always something going on. Great to see you. So if you've not seen Terry's YouTube channel, I highly recommend Shortfield. Go to Shortfield for some general aviation adventures. Brilliant channel, really enjoy it. So I, want, I did want to fly next to him, but paramotors are way too slow, unfortunately. But what I do see is a balloon. So let's try not to upset the balloonist. The balloons are magnets for paramotors. So I knew Terry was behind me somewhere and then at the corner of my eye I see him fly right in front of me. And he flies back to his home field to North Weald, I believe. It looks like Terry's attracted to the balloon as well and does a wide circle around the balloon on his way back. What a great evening. Absolutely fantastic. Great weather, great people. This is what life's about. Fun time to fun people. So this here is a one-man balloon and it has a harness similar to the paramotor harness and it's just kind of dangling under the balloon, which is cool. I've bought myself some merino wool glove liners and I've got these Montane Prism gloves and my hands are toasty toasty warm. The good thing about these gloves is you can feel everything. So if you're looking for a pair of gloves, highly recommend it. Montane Prism and Merino wool glove liners. I find the heated gloves to be a little bit restrictive. Can't feel anything. I, can, I find it hard to even clip in. So I've seen Terry off with Kieran, gone over to see the balloon and it's now time to go and look for Gary as it's his birthday after all. This is what this day was all about really. And people are starting to take off for the lovely sunset flight. And I'm just kind of buzzing around waiting for Gary to take off. Then we all fly south into wind. So I've been having issues with my engine, um, it's now being serviced at the time of recording this video, but I richened the mixture up quite a lot which meant that my fuel burn rate ended up being nearly 6 litres an hour which kind of took me by surprise. an absolutely beautiful evening to fly we've had lots and lots of rain and wind in the UK over the last six to eight weeks it's great to get up with my flying buddies and the prospect of a lovely barbecue when we land is just awesome what a great day So it did cross my mind to do a touch and go on the top of this haystack but thought better of it I don't know how soft the material is and if I messed it up it could be ugly so I decided to just do a low pass instead there's birthday boy Gary with Ed closely behind I think they'll do a wingtip touch in a minute so at this point I decide to check my fuel level and we're probably around a half an hour away from the airfield and I only have two litres left, so I go straight back to the airfield. As I'm coming in to land, uh, I think to myself, I'm a little bit high, so what I'm going to do is have a go around and just go around the airfield and come back in. But as soon as I th had that thought, the engine cut out right here, so I had to come in to land. So, very lucky I made it back for Gary's barbecue engine is now being fully serviced. We were all here. 
Oh yeah! It's still very on, Gary. It's looking good for that, isn't it? Uh, enjoy it, make the most out of it. Okay, well, leave that track at home, you still have got good legs, mate. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Hey. 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 Sorry, any words of wisdom? Words for Gary. His birthday. Words? Oh, Gary. Happy birthday. Who's, who's Gary? Gary. <laughs> <laughs>